Hi everybody, this is Zena Awesome. I haven't posted in a while. Um, as you know, my husband died on 2-2-2020. I was planning on traveling around and um, taking some of his remains with me and putting them in places we've been. I went to my friend's place and I got a pet sitter to watch my dog so I didn't have to take all my dogs. Uh, but obviously, just like um, everybody else, the coronavirus has definitely um, affected what I'm doing. I am actually doing great. I, am, I do have health issues. I just had my birthday. Um, I'm 57, but I don't know if my health issues fall under the problems, but I probably ought to be careful. The dogs are doing great um, because... I wasn't able to do anything because the idea was when I went to the friend's place, I was local to the senior center and the movies and all that. And unfortunately, with um, everything closing down, I really wasn't able to. Um, I went a couple times before there was problems. And then I came home, got my pet sitter, went back out, and then the coronavirus kind of hit. And I'm in California. So... Um, Although in my area, it's not too bad, but the whole state of California is pretty much um, shut down except for essential stuff. Right now, I'm working on painting my floor because I had the pet sitter here. I'd cleared a lot of stuff out of the living, well, I'm only got the one room, cleared a lot of stuff out of the room so that he would have room to be here. He just left yesterday, so I've just started the process. I'd like to do a shout out to Red Panda uh, no, I didn't think you were trying to sell anything. I'm just trying to get myself organized and and figure out where the blog is going to go or the vlog. Um, I really enjoy talking and I could talk about a lot of different things and trying to figure out where I want to go and what I want to do is kind of, I mean, I know this is now all going on, but that doesn't change that I still need to decide um, what I'm going to do. And as far as the stuff with the VA, Vandar actually got one payment um, the day before he died, which I didn't know because it went directly into the checking account. But once he died, that money stopped, and then I had to refile everything. So we would have gotten the back pay, which would have been over $20,000, if he had stayed alive. But since he's died, there I'm having to refile stuff, and... It looks like at least the projected time for them to release any money is um, June now. So needless to say, um, I make less money by myself. So right now I, I don't really have a lot of money. I've applied for pension through the VA, but it seems to be all tied up together. So I probably won't get any money from them either other than my disability, which is three hundred dollars a month but I'm doing okay my house is paid for I am I already have paint for my paint projects I did get my water hooked up before the pet sitter got here I had a few challenges and I will post those videos but being not able to go out my mind just wasn't clearing I needed physical activity to come back in and be able to make videos and be able to talk to people because uh, you kind of got to have both. You can't just sit in a small room and just hang out and and the brain clear. So last night I was um, scrubbing my floor. It's a cement floor and I have cement paint and I will do um, videos about that too. The before and the after and how it looks. I have quite a bit of chicken for the dogs. I tried to buy a bit more before coming out here, but um, they were out at the store I shop at, so that didn't really work out. So I'm really open in the comments. If you have things you'd like me to talk about, I am doing really well. Um, and this is going to almost sound horrible. I'm kind of glad that my hubby passed before this started because he was definitely immune compromised. And if we were having to head to the hospital for his chemo and everything else, that would have been extremely, extremely stressful. So the fact that we got to spend um, his last month just together 
nice and peaceful without other stress. I'm really, really thankful for that. Um, I always try to look at, of course, the positive and what I can be thankful for versus the negative and what I don't have. So all is going good. I am going to make a point to start posting every day now. I just had to be able to get physical and unfortunately with the coronavirus, I wasn't able to get physical where I was. So I'm home, I'm miles away from everybody, um, doing great and I'm looking forward to input from, from my, uh, my peeps out there. Um, I'd love to talk, I love talking actually. So I love to talk about lots and lots of things. Um, it can be off the wall. You want to ask me questions. You want to know more about what I did in the military. I am going to be doing my hair. I have the hair dye. Um, so I'm ready to go on that and I'll be posting that because I pretty much am going to post my haircuts and my dyeing and all that. So I have lots and lots of videos coming up, but I'm really, really looking at input and um, I really appreciate you all. And I really, really appreciate all the the warm and wonderful comments that you posted um, when Vandar died. I didn't answer those because I just really um, wasn't in a place to do that. But I did read every single comment that everybody posted in, um, you know, right, right, it pretty much in real time because um, I would get the email notifications. And I really, really appreciated that. That really helped a lot. So thank you so much to everybody who's been so kind and wonderful. And I hope I can um, help provide some entertainment and uh, information during these times. Um, so uh, hope to hear from you. Uh, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, again, this is Zena Awesome, and, and thanks for listening.